What if I tell you this one book can change your generative AI learning journey entirely? You don't have to spend a lot of money on your courses. Instead, you can read this one book and you will get to know all the tech stack in detail in just one book. I generally receive a lot of queries in top made sessions that please suggest me some good generative AI books. Not a lot of people learn through online tutorials or online courses, but people want to learn through books. Yes, generative AI industry is moving fast. The content will get outdated very soon, but the basics will remain same as of now, at least for a year or two. So learning the fundamentals of generative AI using this book is definitely going to be a good choice. In my experience, I have tried reading a lot of books on generative AI and drag applications, but the information is always in pieces and in various books. So it is difficult to understand things when all the information is scattered somewhere. But in this book, everything is in one place. Now it's time to reveal the book. First of all, hats off to the author for combining all the required tech stack and information in one single book. In the most part, we see a lot of tutorials, but they don't explain you the problems that you face when you try to build something in AI. But in RAG applications, so many people know to build a PDF reader using chat GPT API, but they never know what are the security measures that they need to take in order to secure their applications. So these kind of things are covered in this book very well. So once you read this book, you will get a very good understanding on whatever tech stack is involved in generative AI and RAG applications. There are actually 14 chapters in this book and the author has divided it into three parts. As usual, like every other book, the first part will be introduction. The author explains the important terminologies involved in AI, generative AI and RAG applications so that you don't get stuck without knowing the terminologies when you try to build your AI applications and read this book till the end. The author does not want to bore you with a lot of theory and immediately in the second chapter, he has done a practical implementation of RAG application. So from that, he tries to explain what are the components in the RAG application in the next chapter. So which is really useful when you get to know the practical side of it, somebody has to explain the theory as well. Not a lot of tutorials explain each and every line why they use these terms or why they use this piece of code. In this book, everything is written line by line and all the code also is provided there. Then again, after the practical implementations for the next four chapters, you can expect some of the RAG theory, like why do we need RAG or why do we use RAG and different use cases of RAG. And it also gives you a very detailed explanations on what are the components inside a RAG application. It isn't very detailed like what are vector DB, how indexing is done. So all these minor details are not usually shared even in one of the highest paid courses. Now in the part two, the author has also explained how to use Gradio UI. He has done a very good job in explaining how the Gradio UI can be implemented with the RAG application that he has built. But the problem is the author has missed Streamlit over here. I would say this would be a downside, but it is not difficult to learn Streamlit. It is almost similar to Gradio UI only. Then after that, you will learn how to evaluate your RAG application. Building RAG application is not a big thing, but when it comes to evaluating and making sure your application works at best accuracy is more important. The author introduces you very good terms on how to evaluate your RAG application and what are some standard tools that you can use to evaluate your RAG application. And in this part, there are two chapters dedicated for Langchain. Author has taught you all the things that you need to learn Langchain. When I started learning Langchain, the resources were kind of in pieces everywhere. I wasn't able to get the understanding of Langchain, why we are using it. There are so many functions involved in Langchain. So it is difficult to go through the documentation and learn everything. But over here, author has made things easy. So since you're building a RAG application, he has explained you with the code, with the practical implementation, like how to use these things line by line. Now in the part three, the author has slightly touched on AI agents. So building a RAG application with an AI agent is definitely what the world is doing now. The author has taught how to use LangGraph, but I would say LangGraph wasn't in depth, but it was just enough to make you understand why LangGraph is important and you can get started with the basics. And the last two chapters are mostly about improving your RAG application. In this last two chapters of this book, the author has explained ways to improve your RAG 
accuracy. It involves complete prompting techniques, prompt design and more such stuff are there. Overall, I would say that instead of buying a lot of courses on each tech stack, I would definitely recommend to go with this book because it will give you a very in-depth and very good understanding about building RAG and generative AI systems. I'll attach the link of the book in the description. You can buy it as an ebook or get a hard copy. It's up to you. I hope this video would have helped those people who raised questions on how to learn generative AI through books. I would say this is the only book that I felt which is close to getting everything in one book.